Hey, VC Jeff here. A little something different today. We're going to be talking comic books. Now, not really wanting to do a comic channel or comics in general, but I did dig some out. I thought these are relevant because these are music related comics. And I've had them laying here and I keep thinking, well, I need to, you know, get some information together, make sure I've got what I need. But I'm going to go ahead and just jump into it because yesterday I saw Grease Paint Monkey Brains did a video and he just showed some finds that he had from April and he found a uh, Metallica comic book from Rock and Roll and I thought, you know, one of the ones I think I got is from that Rock and Roll comic series. But I wasn't sure and I thought, well, you know, I had the box laying here with all my comics that were music related. So I thought I'd, you know, go ahead and grab and look at them. And then I sorted them out today and I thought, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. Uh, even if you're not into comics, hopefully you're into the band. Um, and we're talking Kiss. And this is the one I was thinking about. See, it's the rock and roll. And it's number nine. And I didn't pay attention to what number his Metallica one was, but I'm assuming they had a series of various rock bands, and this was one of them. Now, back in the day when I got these, I'd go to my local con comic store, and I had a bag, and I said, okay, basically at that time there were some other Kiss comics that were coming out. There were some other comics that I was collecting, Nova, some other Marvel titles, and I thought, I told them, anything that you could get in that's like Kiss related, get it. And they got this, and I don't know where they got it. If it was $2, they basically got it from one of their dealers, and they got it in for me. They also got these in, and that's why I don't have all of them, because I don't know how many there are, but this is from the Hard Rock series. And this is Kiss, and this is number one, and this is number two, but I don't have number three. But I do have, so, and this is issue number two of this series. Then there's an issue number three, four, and five, and I got five. And this is not to be confused with part, see it says right here, part two of three, and it's issue number two, but this is issue number five, Tales from the Tour, so. Anyway, these were just some random ones that they got in, but I just threw those out there because that's kind of what made me decide to do this today. Now, if you go back, I don't have the original. 1977 Marvel Comics did the whole Kiss comic book, the whole Blood in the Vat, blah, 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 big deal. Had it back in the day. I don't know where it went. I don't have an original copy of that anymore. In 78, they did another one. I don't have that. Um, and then, so, I, I those are like, the obviously, the, the nostalgic ones. And I have copies of those, but not them. In 97, Todd McFarlane, who does Spawn and all those other things, in his comic series, did the Kiss Psycho Circus. And this is a series of 31 comics. And if you're familiar with Todd McFarlane and his artwork and everything, and he also did some figures, and I've got the figures, but today we're talking comics. Anyway, um, just amazing, detailed, at times sort of grotesque, but still just amazing. I love the artwork. And so, yes... I'm going to breeze through these real quick. There were 31 copies. And they, you know, tell the story of Kiss. Kiss was always labeled as kind of a uh, superhero. They were four people were four, with different powers and stuff. And um, the Todd McFarlane Psycho Circus series, based, of course, on the Psycho Circus album that was released at the time, you know, is just kind of macabre and and dark and and things along that line so and you know it just presents them a sort of kind of superhero-ish and there were um like i said there were some psycho circus figures various kiss figures that were released at the time that mcfarlane he did a lot of things i've seen him he's done a lot of different uh rock star type people and um figures and things along that line and and I wish I had had the money back in the day to buy them all because he did some really good stuff. And most of the ones I've got for Kiss are out in my shed. You know, these go on forever. It's been quite a while since I've read these. And I'm not totally recalling all the storyline because there have been so many other Kiss comics since these that came out that I'm going to uh, show some of them too. I just realized I'm going backwards order, so that was 31, and now we're getting down to 5, 4, 4, 3, get my numbers right, 2, and 1. Now, again, 97. In 2002, 
Dark Horse Records, Dark Horse Records, Dark Horse Comics released a uh, 13 series comic. Now these, I thought I had all of them, but I ended up, I had only about half of them. And so in the past couple weeks, I went on eBay real quick and picked them all up. And so I don't know why I'm, I've actually got two of number one because I already had some in the past. And they, these, these particular ones had all kinds of variants. So as you can see, I've got the ones that actually have photos of the band Whereas there were some that were uh, that were more comic drawn. There were just so many. I guess they want people to buy multiple copies and collect them. So I don't have like all of variant A or whatever because I bought them in random places. But it's mainly the ones I got. It seems like at least all these early ones are bands of the pictures and not actually cartoon drawings. And these are the ones actually I recently got because they got the sticker on there. And I have it... Uh, and these are obviously the variants with the with the actual drawings and then it goes back to the band just realized why is there oh I must have missed the variant with Paul so those are uh, like I said they were 13 issue series that came out in 2002 then around 2000 and what year is this 2000 and Seven Platinum Comics put out what they call KISS 4K. Now this was a little frustrating. They put out six issues and then they did four digital issues. Now I went to look for the four digital issues and it doesn't even look like the website's quite the same. But these were, again, it was a short series. These were really, really cool. I like the, uh, like the storyline here. Unfortunately, I only got to go, you know, as far as issue six. So I don't know where it went for the last four, but, and it was called KISS 4K, 4K as in the four members of KISS. Number five and number six. And I believe they, no, I don't think they had, I think they did have some variants of those black and white versions of, and then they had a uh, Christmas edition, still for KISS 4K. And then they had a huge version of issue number one. I mean huge. And I got it in there in my wall in a plastic bag hanging. I didn't want to pull it down, but I do have a picture I'll show you right here. So yeah, it's a huge comic that's basically just a collector's thing. And uh, it's the same stuff that's an issue uh, number one, I believe. So now, those were the main ones up until 2007. Then in 2009, oh my gosh. In 2009, this was released, <laughs> the KISS Compendium. And what this is, it's huge, it's glossy pages. This is every KISS comic that I just showed you. It's got the first two from 77, 78. It's got the uh, KISS Nation one that came out in 95, which I do have the magazine that that was included in. It has that in here. It has the comic book from the KISS Nation book that came out you know through the kiss fan club stuff it's got the psycho circus and the 13 from the dark horse series and then it's got some extra and it, it this book lists for 75 dollars now i waited till amazon dropped it to close it was under 50 but it's heavy and it's it would hard to show you anything but you can see it's like glossy comic book pages really nicely done and it's just got all the issues in here and then it's got some you know it's got the it's even got the cover art there's some of the cover art there for the dark horse series in the back it's got some behind the scenes from the tour photos just behind the scenes kiss stuff anyway so this is really neat and like i say in the beginning it does have the 77 and you know 78 the early kiss comic books you can kind of see there from the 70s so that's why I didn't go too crazy going out trying to buy the original Marvel 77, 78 because I already have them in here, and it is a, uh, it is a, it's got a paper sleeve on it, but it's actually got comic books on the actual cover, so it's hardbound, um, cover ready, but it's got this, uh, uh, yeah. So now after that, there have been, and this is where I kind of lost track. The comic book store at the time when I was buying them, they did have this series. This is IDW, and this one is an eight series. 
And these were the ones I think at the time that I was actively buying at the comic store that they were putting them in the bags for me. And these also, again, had all kinds of cover variants. Somehow, they just I just said, I don't care which one, they got whatever they could get randomly. I mean, if you look online, there are like four, five, six different cover variants. I'm like, okay, not that much of a collector. Most of mine looked pretty good. They have artwork, but some of them had girls on them, some had guys, some had r different pictures, black and white pictures, things along that line. And then a little later, they, they came back, IDW came back with the Solo series, which is the four individual comics. I think this was in couple years later or so after the other one or some sometime later after the IDW original eight and then I kind of stopped I didn't look any further but it, when I looked online it turns out they've had dynamite comics has two or three other series that have been out 2016 17 things like that so they do have a lot of these where they put them together in like a graphic novel format so I could go that route just to have the stories uh that's a, a possibility they've even got a series that one of the later series that came out where they're with vampirella you know she had her own comics back in the day scantily clad woman vampire lady and with kiss so yeah and then also in 2012 um i'm not sure if this ever came out as individual comics and was later put into a graphic novel but i somehow got the graphic novel archie meets kiss look at this got some nice gold foil it's red foil and of course, if you follow Scooby Doo, there's a cartoon movie of Scooby Doo meets Kiss, which I don't think I ever got. By the time that came out, my kids weren't buying, and you know, the Scooby Doo books, but. And it's Kiss kind of drawn to meet the Archie type thing. So yeah, Kiss and comic books. Thought it was neat. I'm a big Kiss fan. That's some of my Kiss collectibles. And then the last one I'll show this is uh, Gene Simmons house of horrors it's a graphic novel typical glossy and this is more of a it's not kiss related as far as doesn't have kiss in it it's mainly horror stories and so it is uh you know interesting concept you know there was all kinds of these creepy magazines back in the day horror magazine stuff so this is gene simmons uh putting out and he's got like he's got his registered money bag uh, icon there so yeah oh look there's a cool picture from on the back so that's it for the KISS related comics. I have some other ones that are uh, other artists related, so do that later. Anyway, just figured I'd share. Seems like a little fun with comics. Thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard.